All right, let's get started. I am Arturo Mesquite, the anxiety free professional doctor, helping people find fulfillment in life. And today I have Marita, a patient of mine. How are you feeling, Marita? I'm doing fabulous today, even in the middle of a pandemic. That's good. Now, you've done the mastery program. What were your struggles when you started working with me? Every cell of my body, just full of anxiety. I couldn't even take a breath deep like I can today. I felt shakes and, and nervous energy. Um, I couldn't sit tall. I would, I would be like this. It was very painful. It was, it, it was a lot of pain in my body from anxiety. So your anxiety carried on not only on an emotional level, but also on a physical level, correct? Oh, it totally did. I think, I think I lost my right thyroid, not because there wasn't a lump there, there was, but that was years of holding the fear stuck at my throat in my voice. I couldn't speak the fear or the pain and it just got stuck there until it grew into this lump, you know, where the, the medical doctors were like, it might be cancerous, we need to take this out. And, and I don't regret the choice that I made, although I do realize, had I have seen you 10 years prior, this might not have gotten to the point that it did. Um, but so be it, here it is. And you still helped me, um, you know, function wonderfully um, with half a thyroid and, you know, no weight issues or energy issues. Can you describe what the phone work is all about? Like all of your work, I feel that, again, it's very focused and almost scientific. I, it is scientific in that um, we would leave no stone unturned. If I wasn't feeling well, if I had to locate pain in my body, um, if there was a reoccurring thought or an emotion, we have to keep digging at it. And, and I would always leave the phone conversation feeling better. I mean, sometimes instantly, you know, within the first three seconds, I would start laughing and it would just all clear out. Um, but if we, if, if we spent 30 minutes on the phone together and we got at something, but it didn't feel like it was all cleared out, that was my homework for the next time. Like there was no like letting it go. Let's just see what happens. It was like, okay, we're going to come back to it next week. Do your homework in between now and then so we can keep getting at it. So it goes beyond the ego. It goes beyond the bubble baths and the chocolate and the hair and the makeup. This is about inside work. And none of that stuff on the outside would have done anything for me had I have not done this work. Now, here comes the million dollar question. How can you describe my work? And I think your work is very dynamic. So I couldn't box you into any one style or profession that you can be a coach at times, you can be a mentor at times, but, but really it was more of um, getting to what was bothering me and giving it to you. And it's like, you did the work for me and explain them to me why things were going the way they were. Um, there were times when I couldn't, I, there are times on the phone when I can't access the words, but you can get to them. It, it's like, you, you just know it, you feel it, you sense it. And you'll ask me a question. It's like, oh, that's it. Who can benefit from the mastery program? Anyone who wants to feel better, to have a more fulfilling life, um, and, and in any realm, right? Like, I mean, it could be business, it could be relationships, it could be physical, emotional, like it, that, none of that matters because you touch all of that. Um, and, and all of that has changed in my life. Even if we only worked in the physical, things changed in my business life too. Um, but there's got to be a desire to get better. 
once that's there, the work just kind of unfolds. Building razor sharp focus on self awareness, very high functioning self awareness, consciousness to really um, know myself, my patterns, my blocks. And, and what can I do about them? And to take action, to not just sit there with it, to take action. Um, and, and then beyond that, I mean, and that's like kind of the energy work, but it, that encompasses all. So that also comes down to what are the food choices I'm making? What are the relation choices, you know, relationship choices that I'm making? Um, how am I showing up as a mother, as a friend? as a sister to myself, how am I showing up? So I feel like it's very, very, like I said, razor sharp focus on self-awareness. Did you find the mastery program difficult? The difficult thing for me was I had to bear it all. Like I had to take it off and let you see the amount of pain and the wounds there. And it felt, terrifying because it was as emotionally and metaphorically naked as I probably could ever get. But there was something inside me that said, you have to do this. This is it. Like, this is it. This is it. And in turn, I think your process and your way is so unique and present and real time so that you were able to give me what I needed at each, at, at each layer. Sometimes I needed you to be very gentle with me. And sometimes I needed you to say, no, take responsibility. And you had to hold me accountable. Are you ready to be taking down memory lane? Let's go. I have some pictures to show you and thank you for sharing them with me. But I wanted to ask you, when you look at those pictures, what comes to mind? I was struggling with my weight, my self-esteem, my self-image. I was experiencing inner turmoil that I don't think anyone could ever know. I was tanning because I had psoriasis and the UV treatment was helping my psoriasis. Picture number two was the performance of my life, meaning I was going through a separation um, I had just lost my mom. What about this picture here? Uh, I felt alone. I felt overwhelmed. Uh, I felt like I was putting on a show for the world. And again, you know, it just keeps coming up. The memory of no one knew what I was suffering with inside. Look at that picture, totally different person. Totally different person. Really, if I had to take the one thing that was my thing, it was self-doubt, self-judgment, shame. I was so hard on myself. I didn't meet my expectations, my ideals. I was living everyone else's life. And as we began to remove those limiting beliefs, um, you know, I shed weight, physical weight, emotional weight, and then eventually the psoriasis just fell off. Did dancing help you with anxiety? Going back to the anxiety where and saying that I suffered from a young child because my mother was always so nervous. Um, I studied music performance in college. I think somehow my spirit was calling me to overcome anxiety. So the stage fright was awful. And I used to like to practice in my own room and you know, performing for people was like a rush, but really difficult for me. And it changed from music to dance. 
when I was 260 pounds and um, I showed up to a belly dance class by mistake. I didn't know I was going to belly dance. I showed up to a personal training session thinking I was gonna run or lift weights or kickbox or do something like that. And um, the teacher was a belly dancer and um, he handed me a hip scarf and he said, today we're gonna belly dance. And um, I was mortified. I didn't wanna dance. I didn't wanna put a hip scarf on. I hated my body, but something happened when he had me stand up straight with posture and I fell in love with my body for the first time. That it wasn't about my size, it wasn't about what I was feeling inside, it was about how I could carry my body. And that was about 10 years ago. And it's 110 pounds later, you know, that I lost a lot of weight. So my anxiety was tied to a belief that I was never good enough. I wasn't enough. I had all this self doubt. I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't thin enough. I just was either too much of something or not enough of something. I learned how to love my body. I was back to my love of music and rhythm and flow. And, um, you know, many, many classes, lots of hours practicing later. Uh, I mean, it's really something that I feel in service to for women, to take women with me, to not judge themselves, to be able to dance with joy, to be able to own their feminine energy. Um, it is not an ounce of work for me, really. It is all joy and it is such an honor to be with women and have them smiling and moving and loving their bodies. If other women out there want to get a class from you, how can they find you? Uh, my website is um, sharkey.com, is S-H-A-R-Q-U-I.com slash Marissa, my name, M-A-R-I-S-A. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Purple Vibes Movement, which you helped me name. Uh, and I'm also doing some Zoom classes during the pandemic. Uh, so you could take some of my classes right from the comfort of your own home. And you can find that on sharky.com as well. What advice can you give women out there who are struggling with anxiety? We all need mentoring and friendship and healing and coaching. We all need support. So get help. Um, do the work. Don't be ashamed to talk about where you are, what you want, um, and allow people to help you. But at the same time, make your choices wisely because there are a lot of people out there that do all kinds of things. You know, we're in the information age. Stuff is so accessible. Find someone that you're comfortable with, that has the education, the experience, the testimonials to back up their work. Can you close your eyes for a moment? And I'm going to mention anxiety. What comes to mind? Nothing. I, it's, it's so distant in my life. It, it doesn't show up anymore. Now with all the things on your belt, how are you processing what's going on today? Um, day by day. And I'm allowing myself to feel all the feels. There are days when I feel really sad and I allow that. And if it goes on too long, I ask myself, what's this about? That's a great answer. I just wanted to go back to um, the person who recommended me to your work, um, someone that I admired for a long time as, a, you know, again, a friend and a professional and a businessman. Um, and what always um, surprised me about uh, watching his growth and his success is that he had a coach. He always said he had a coach, a business coach, a mentor. He, he was always working with someone. And I had it so backwards. I always thought like the people who 
weren't successful needed coaches or help. And that's actually not the case. Um, it's, it's kind of reverse that if you're doing great stuff and you want to continue to do more great stuff with life, get people on your team to help you. It's not about a weakness. It's not about, um, you know, an inability or a disability. It's about putting the right people on your team. There are so many mentors, coaches out there who can definitely help you. But I think the most important thing is that you must find uh, the person that works for you, the right person that you resonate with. And also listen to your intuition. Do you agree? You're really like hitting the nail on the head about finding what works for you and and still having these moments where emotions are going to come because this is a human experience. I think one of the biggest misconceptions, and I had it, and I went to the wrong people, was you're going to do the work and you're going to be great forever, you know, or just say this mantra enough and it's going to happen. And it's like, well, no, I can keep saying the same thing, but if I don't do different things, it doesn't matter what I'm saying. Or I can go spend thousands of dollars to hear the greatest speakers. But if I leave and I don't change anything or do anything different, none of it's going to work. So I think it is about knowing ourselves and using our intuition and finding the people um, to help us with our process that, that relates to us, um, but also has the experience to help us along. I mean, there were times when um, I had enough self-awareness about what I was feeling, but I didn't know what to do about it. And I needed you to help me. And it's almost like I, hand, I gave you my hand and I said, pull me in the right direction because I don't know. Um, that takes a certain amount of trust and um, the, right, the right people. Maritza, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. And I hope that we can help a lot of women out there who are struggling with anxiety. Till then, I'm Arturo Mesquite. Bye for now. I'll talk to you soon.